Hi, today's video we're going to look at the Cloud Foundry environment set up in SAP Cloud Platform. I was going to look at the Cloud Foundry command line tools which are used to create and deploy native applications and services in Cloud Platform. In my previous video series, I was primarily focusing on Access Advanced Server and I was using a web ID for HANA to build and deploy the applications on premise. Basically, Access Advanced is a an on-premise version of Cloud Foundry environment, and they both follow the same architecture principles in general. And Cloud Foundry is a platform as a service offering where developer can just focus on business application development and don't have to worry about what kind of infrastructure is being used to run and manage the applications. And Cloud Foundry is an open source platform uh, based on microservices architecture. From this picture, we can also see the cloud and on-premise options available for application development in SAP. Access Advanced is the on-premise on application development platform and uh, on cloud, it is a Cloud Foundry is going to be the application development platform. We were using WebID for HANA on-premise to create, build and deploy the applications database applications, HTML and Node.js applications, etc. On cloud platform, you got WebID for full stack application to create and deploy uh, the applications into Cloud Foundry. We were also using the access command line tools to deploy the objects which were built using WebID for HANA. And this command line can be installed on any of the virtual machine or on your personal computer as well. Uh, similarly, uh, in Cloud Platform, we also have uh, uh, Cloud Foundry command line tools, which can be installed on your personal computer or virtual machine to access the Cloud Foundry objects, um, which are developed in WebID full stack. And of course, we're going to use uh, GitHub for both on-premise as well as cloud environments for source control. That's about the uh, comparison of on-premise and cloud uh, in terms of application development. Since we already seen access application, access advanced application development in my previous videos, I'm going to focus on Cloud Foundry and WebID full stack command line. The uses of all these different tools in, uh, in together in this in this current video. Now I'm going to access SAP Cloud Platform. You got. Um, access as a developer free trial account. Uh, in my SAP Cloud Platform trial account, I have a Cloud Foundry trial and as well as Neo trial. Um, as I uh, set up my account in Cloud Foundry trial, I'll also get the account created in Neo trial as well. So basically, I, I'm going to need the Neo trial as well because uh, WebID full stack is only available in Neo trial. So I'm going to set up my Cloud Foundry account in um, uh, Cloud Foundry trial and then access uh, the API endpoint of Cloud Foundry trial in web by full stack which is available in your trial. Since I have already shown how to set up the Cloud Foundry trial account in one of the previous videos, so you can refer to that video to create an account um, in um, SAP Cloud Platform uh, for Cloud Foundry. Uh, I'm going to access my trial account um, I'm going to uh, access my sub account here. So I can see my sub account uh, details, organization, um, space, and the API endpoint to connect. Uh, this is the uh, cockpit of, of uh, SAP Cloud Platform where I can see uh, and manage Cloud Foundry trial account. Now I'm going to access the Neo trial, uh, which is here. Um, I'm going to log in again. And I'm going to find my service, which is WebID for WebID full stack. Yeah. I'm going to access the service. I'm in here. So uh, initially, I'm going to configure my uh, Cloud Foundry API endpoint in, in the uh, workspace preferences. So I gave my API endpoint, organization, and space, and, and then save. So all the objects which I'm going to build in WebID full stack are going to 
uh, are, are going to be uh, deployed in, in this organization and space. So I can come to my workspace and then start creating uh, MTAs and, and then in, in, in inside the MTAs I can start building the DB modules and uh, HTML and Node.js modules and etc. I can also build Fury up or UIFI applications as well. It's going to be a full stack. Uh, the database module, HTML, Node.js or UIFI, any application can be, any type of SCP application can be built here. Uh, that's about the navigation uh, between uh, Cloud Foundry trial account and uh, WebID full stack uh, uh, trial account in your environment. This trial account is for 30 days and you can extend it up to two, two, two times more, so which uh, technically you're going to get it for 90 days. Now I'm going to show you uh, to install the uh, Cloud Foundry command line tool on my personal computer and then start using it to create the space organization and uh, perform several other uh, services creation etc from the command line to instead of uh, uh, doing it from the uh, cloud platform cockpit. I can get the Cloud Foundry uh, command line tool software from GitHub uh, space of Cloud Foundry account. Um, I'm accessing the GitHub uh, space of Cloud Foundry account here and then in the bottom I can see uh, the installer uh, file available. I'm going to down, download this um, file according to my operating system. I'm going to do it for Windows 65 chip and I'm going to install, I'm going to take the installer um, and then unzip and then install it. Uh, that's it and uh, this is my installation and then I can just um, run as an administrator and, and then my Cloud Foundry uh, command line tool uh, client is going to be installed on my computer. I've already done this one. I'm, um, I'm going to check uh, uh, whether my uh, personal computer uh, has got the uh, installation or not. So for that I'm going to access the command line tool and then just type in SEF. So it is going to give me all the uh, different options available for uh, managing the Cloud Foundry environment here. So I can check the version of CF by typing in this command. Um, uh, so you can see that CF version is, um, uh, is this one. So I'm going to perform several other operations here and using my command line prompt. So in order to access my uh, Cloud Foundry environment in Cloud Platform, uh, I'm going to need the endpoint. So I'm going to take the endpoint from this space. This is my endpoint, API endpoint. And then I issue a command XCF API and then this command. So it is going to access this API endpoint and, um, and I'm going to log in to this server. For that I use CF login. And it's going to ask me email ID which is my ID. I'm going to give my password. When I log down to my Cloud Foundry trial account, which is available in Cloud Platform. Um, uh, the command line tool uh, for Cloud Foundry is very similar to access command line tool. So we used to give uh, access commands and here in Cloud Foundry command line tool, we give CF. It's just that um, uh, replace instead of uh, having access, we use uh, CF in in this in this space. So in order to get help, uh, I just type help and say I'm going to get all the uh, commands which I can issue to get uh, my work done. Uh, I wanted to uh, see uh, the different organizations uh, available in this particular Cloud Foundry environment. So I can s uh, type in CFOX. So there is one organization which is trial. I'm going to um, check all uh, different spaces available in this particular organization. So I can see that the dev is, uh, is the one space currently available. So I can create a new space also. So um, I wanted to create a space. So I can crea say, uh, create uh, space uh, central and a new space has been created I can check uh, my 
space has been created or not by issuing a command again, uh, a sea of spaces. So now you can see that there are two spaces in my organization, one is central and then develop. If I refresh my uh, um, Cloud Foundry uh, trial account page in SAP Cloud Platform, I can see that there are two spaces. So uh, most of the actions which I do in Cloud Cockpit, uh, I can do it in command line interface also. Uh, and I, I also am going to check uh, all the applications uh, available in this particular organization and space. So this is my application which is um, uh, Builder uh, DI which is currently running. You can also check my services which are running on this application and space. There was no services for You can create a service by using CF create service command. You can also delete the service uh, CF delete service. Um, you can do pretty much uh, everything uh, of creating, deleting, and managing, uh, and also the deployment of the um, applications in command line interface. Um, and also, in order to get started um, uh, at a very basic level, um, there is a uh, uh, training tutorial provided by Cloud Foundry organization. So you can uh, get that tutorial by going into the Cloud Foundry website and then just um, um, start with uh, a course called From, Z uh, From Zero to Hero, something uh, like this, and then provide your email ID and you get a course content. So you also get a um, cloud service uh, from Pivotal. Uh, I'm going to access this Pivotal Web Services API endpoint uh, using my command line um, tool. So for that, I just need an um, uh, API endpoint, which is available in the documentation of Cloud Foundry. I'm going to just take this one, uh, which I copied here, and I'm going to put it in my uh, tool. So for that, I just need to issue a command C F API and then the API endpoint uh, one. So it's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to log in into this API endpoint. Um, this is for my Pivotal Web Services account. This is not an SAP Cloud Platform uh, account. It's a, a it's a, a Cloud Foundry's um, uh, a platform as a service offering from uh, Pivotal Web Services. Um, you can just give my email ID and password. So I can see there are two spaces in in, um, uh, in this, uh, yeah, uh, in my organization. I click on my organization, I can see central and development. I can perform the same actions I did it in SAP Cloud Platform account uh, in this one as well. Uh, I feel that these are the uh, good uh, resource training resources available on open source, and we can uh, make any use of all these resources to get uh, more familiar with Cloud Foundry environment developments, uh, which can uh, help us in aligning with SAP's application programming model. For detail training on these topics, you can reach me at my LinkedIn profile, and also you can send an email to my email ID, which is shown here. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Um,